Hey everybody, welcome to The Real Show Barbecue. Today we're gonna to be cooking us some nice dry aged steaks with the New K Argentina Grill. These are the steaks that we're using today. These are 30 day dry aged, pasture centered. This is a New York strip and it is super thick. This is also a bone-in ribeye, nice marbling on both of them. This is from Brass Town Beef right here in North Carolina. They're all natural, no hormones, no antibiotics, and it says they are real beef raised right. So I know these are gonna be great. Let's go ahead and get these seasoned. And first of all, what I wanna do is just spray a little bit of olive oil on each side. The seasoning that I'm using today is by Big Papa's Double Secret Steak Rub. I've tasted it right out of the bottle. It's got some great flavor. I know it's gonna be really good on these steaks. And I'll be putting it pretty heavy because these steaks are so thick and they can take that. Go ahead and get our ribeye first. And as always, we're doing on the sides and on the back side as well. We have both of these steaks nicely seasoned. We're gonna let them sit here and rest out at room temperature while we get the new K grill up to temp. Okay, our grill is nice and hot. We're cooking indirect. I got our coals this way. And so we're gonna lay our steaks on this side. So we're gonna do it like a reverse sear. And I'm gonna be putting the thickest one, which is the New York strip closest to the fire and then the ribeye just on the side here. I'm gonna put my probe in this thickest one right here. We're gonna keep this monitored. If you're not familiar with this New K Argentina grill, I'll leave a link up above on how it looks and how it's set up and everything. So you'll be able to take a look at that. We'll close the lid down and keep this monitored. And then once we get to a probably around 100, 110, we're gonna take it and start doing our reverse here. It's already been going for about 20 minutes and these are already reading <laughs> close, well, that's 90, yeah, 90 degrees there. That was 96. So I wanna go ahead and flip these and give them just a few more minutes and we're gonna start doing our sear. Fact, I'm going to slide this one away from the fire a little bit because it's I'm afraid it's going to get overly cooked. Slide this one away. I'm going to monitor this really heavy. I don't want to overcook these. We'll get these flipped over in just a moment. Get another 10 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and take these off and start giving them a sear. I got the steaks over here, getting the sear on. Not gonna take very long. I'll try to do about a minute on each side and then kind of see where we are internal. I'm using Jealous Devil charcoal. It runs super hot and will last you a while if you're doing long cooks as well. All right, we've been going for a minute. We're gonna go ahead and turn these over. Another minute, let's check these out. 130, that's right at 140. We're we'll gonna go ahead and pull this one. Let's see where this one's at. One twenty-three. 
120. Let's flip this one. Get this one another minute or so, and we're going to turn it on its side and give it some sear on the side as well. We're going another minute, I'm going to flip this over and kind of see where we're at now. I kind of raised the uh, charcoal, or I lowered the charcoal a little bit. or lower the grill grade a little bit. 130, 133, 135. All right. Let's take it off. Here are our steaks. This is the New York strip. This one is the ribeye, as you can tell. Let's go ahead and cut into them real quick. Let's do the thicker one first. You can see all the juices already on the table. This one cut across it like this. Still plenty juicy. That's probably close to a medium which is what we really like. Yep, that's definitely more of a medium to a medium well on that one. Which again, probably a little bit thicker down here but it's plenty juicy. I know that's going to be very good. Let's sit this one to the side. Let's kind of cut into this ribeye. Oh yes. Yeah, more than medium. Again, let's cut a piece off right here. Man, so juicy. Still got you a little bit of red in there. Perfectly cooked as far as I'm concerned. Yes, sir. Nice, 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 nice. Let's give this a taste test. All right, my official taste tester is with me again today. Mason, we're gonna try the New York strip first. We'll wait till we try the other one, see which one's our favorite. That might be hard to beat. Hmm? All right. Now we're gonna try this ribeye. Ribeye is my favorite cut. All right, let me try it. Hmm. <laughs> what do you think? It tastes the same. You? No. I can definitely taste a difference in the ribeye. I just I love the ribeye. It's got more fat in it and, and taste. Both of them are great. Be sure to check out all these companies below in the show more section or description, whatever you want to call it. It's right below this video. And as you can see, you can buy some t-shirts and different merchandise below. I appreciate it if you check that out. It would greatly help support this channel and keep it running as well. This is phenomenal. Everything together. Awesome. We're doing it right here in North Carolina when it comes to raising some, some awesome meat. So I'm going to go ahead and get check those guys out. Mason, what do you want to say, buddy? Subscribe, like, and share. Bye. Thanks so much, guys, as always. Be sure to check us out on Instagram and Facebook and also Roku. God bless.